thanks for joining me today on this self-care Saturday vlog, or vlog I mean. Um, it is like 1.15 p.m. in the afternoon. My mom just arrived. We are going to go and get some pedicures. Then I'm going to come back, do some decluttering, do some self-care things. I think bake some cookies and just overall have a really nice chill um, wellness type of night. So let's get to it. So we just got home. We went to Costco this morning and got some stuff to eat for this afternoon, like some chicken Caesar wraps and some like quinoa salad or something. So I'll show you guys that. And then I don't know what's up next. Moose, show them your new tag. Good boy. Well, we've had this tag since before he was even conceived. When he finally fits it, sit, sit. No, sit. Good boy. He's his little tacky. Such a good boy. Good boy, Moose. All right. Here's what we're working with. We got the little chicken Caesar wrap thing from Costco. No, it's not even chicken Caesar. What am I saying? It's like an Asian chicken thing. It has little Asian snacks in there. And then some quinoa salad. Garrett says it's super good. So I'm super excited. Okay, you guys, so we are making a little cookie recipe that I found on Instagram. One cup large curd cottage cheese, one fourth cup pure maple syrup, one teaspoon vanilla, one cup almond flour, two tablespoons melted coconut oil, half cup vanilla protein powder, and some chocolate chips. So we have the maple syrup and the cottage cheese right here as well as the vanilla in there. We're gonna blend that and then do all the dry ingredients. Oh my god, it's not even plugged in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. taste test and it taste it okay babes up first how is it it's phenomenal honestly let me try mm. it tastes extremely good pretty coconutty though not gonna lie i kind of like that mm. it tastes good we'll let you know when the cookies come out what they really taste like by the way those costco things were trash in my opinion it's pretty good I should let it cool, but I just can't wait. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know what it is with this mediocre food today. Definitely not what I was expecting. Maybe they'll taste better when they cool down. Just very coconutty and very like wet on the inside, I think, because of the cottage cheese, but we'll just let it cool down for a while and hopefully they'll get better, so stay tuned. Garrett is making some, uh, a more mojito cocktail for me and a regular mojito for himself. How cute is this? So yummy. Okay, so I let them cool, like my second and a half cookie. And they are a lot better. This time, now they're cool, they taste more like cheesecake. 
I think they're delicious. Gary thinks they're delicious. I think they are. Definitely just not like real cookie, but I think it's also the almond flour that's throwing me off. But the chocolate chips really make them. They taste like really creamy. That's why it almost tastes like cheesecake because it clouds cheese. So maybe you should try them. I'll have to link it below. this out I was supposed to be doing all of my self-care things and decluttering yesterday of course but the day just sort of got away from me and I was just feeling like I wanted to relax sorry I literally have a burger right now so so I am going to do it today I'm going to do a self-care morning this morning continue the self-care, although making cookies last night was self-care. I don't know who doesn't love cookies. But I am going to do that this morning before I go get breakfast with my friend. And then, um, and then I will do some decluttering this afternoon. So a self-care Saturday turned into self-care Saturday Sunday. I need a whole two days for all the good stuff. I'm just brushing my hair now. Let me do my face rollers, my little cryo globes for my eyes and then I think we'll do like a face mask oh yeah some blackhead extractions would be super good little like under eye things perhaps um yeah all that good stuff that's what we'll do it's a good idea and then also, I'll, when I shower, I'll use this like coffee scrub that I got a couple days ago that I absolutely love that I'll show you guys. So uh, I love this brush. I also use the wet brushes like religiously, but this one is a Tangle Freezer. And I've actually been using these for years. There was a long stint of time that I didn't have one, but I had just seen this at the store the other day and I was like, you know what? I should get one of these. I remember how good they were. So... Super gentle on the hair. Just love it. Look at that. So soft now. Okay, let me get my cryo balls. So I have this Gabella, um, what is it, a pink clay mud mask. I got this at Target like a while ago, maybe like a month or two ago. So today is the day to finally use it. I, to be completely honest, have not done a mask like this and I don't even know how long. So let me put my hair up. I'm gonna use this cute little flower clip that I got. Oh gosh, where did I get it? So crazy, I literally can't even remember. Wow, truly haven't a clue. Okay, put that in. And then I'm going to take these cute little uh, spot ears that I got. Amazon. My hair came out. Okay, what a mess. Try this again. Maybe I'll put these on first. Okay, there we go. Actually, with this, perhaps I don't even need the clip. I'll use it while I put it on at least. Okay, so we're already there. These are just so cute. I've just saw them on everyone online. I think they're the cutest little thing because I am like obsessed with like 
bunnies and like cute little animals like that. Okay, so I put this on. How long am I gonna leave it on for? 15 minutes, okay. a nice like kind of like transparent pink Okay, so I'm going to leave this on for 15 minutes, and while I'm leaving this on, I'm going to make some coffee, and I'm going to watch a little cartoon. You guys will see when I turn it on and when I make my coffee. Let's just say the coffee mug will be a hint to what I'm going to turn on, and then you guys will see. So then we'll let this sit for 15 minutes while we chill and do that. After that, we will do some blackhead extracting nose strips and some under eye, um, eye mask, whatever. mask we're gonna put one of these on and some of these under eye masks on okay omg how freaking cute are these okay so i guess it just sticks on there i'm gonna put some under eye masks on is a packaging on this thank you okay they completely fell off the tray but that is okay let me just fish them out okay there we are Okay, I look so crazy, I cannot move my face. I have both of these on, which means that the under eye mask can't even reach fully. So I will just reapply them after this thing is done and just sit with those on by themselves for a while. But this is a look. guys I'm drinking out of the cutest little brat mug ever I got this on Amazon and watching brat stalls so the importance of this is that when or the significance of this was that when I was a little kid watching the brat stall cartoon was like my absolute favorite thing to do on the weekend so I'll get up on Saturday or Sunday morning I would watch it on TV and I just absolutely loved it and I had so many brats I was also a Barbie girl I definitely had both and I will tell you guys a really funny story so when I was a little girl we had an extra neighbor and she came and spent the night and I'm always the first one to zonk out like at sleepovers to this day I always fall asleep first 
anywhere, anytime, I'm the first one to sleep. So this next door neighbor of mine, she's like playing with my Barbies and Brad's dolls. I go to bed, I wake up in the morning, I'm putting every single thing away. And I notice that my teeny tiny little mini like toddler Chloe doll, I thought she was the most precious thing in the world, was freaking missing. So I mean, I scoured the whole entire apartment every crevice everywhere like I knew where my girls belonged and she was not where she was supposed to be so the one place that I didn't look was her duffel bag so I like flip my head dramatically like turn it dramatically I see her bag I start approaching it and she notices me she goes no like I'm not even joking it was like a freaking movie and I go over there and I open the top of the duffel bag and lo and behold my little baby Chloe is sitting in her bag so that girl tried to she tried to take my brat stuff from me and it didn't work out for her. So that was my fun story time. I am just gonna sit here, drink some coffee, watch the brats TV for a bit, like catch up on some text messages. And then I'm going to shower, use a little body scrub and head out for breakfast with my friend. Okay, so I just got home from breakfast with Daisy a bit ago and she got me this gorgeous Stanley cup which is so pretty because it's my absolute favorite shade of pink. So thank you, bestie. I'm drinking out of this today. But earlier this morning, I had this genius idea to use this disco ball that I bought for decoration for my birthday. I was like, what do we do with it? I've always wanted like a disco ball in the apartment. I think I'd actually mentioned it on a different vlog. I didn't know where to put it. Scared to really want it and open. And I realized yesterday we could hang it in the freaking closet. So I still get it, but it's just in the closet. So I tested it out with a command strip over here and the command strip appeared to be able to hold it. So I'm gonna go hang it up in the closet with a command strip, at least until we can get the proper like screw for it or like little, I don't know, yeah, tip and nail thing that has the thing. I am not the girl to talk about this. Anyway, so let's go hang this up and then we will get started on decluttering. Alrighty, there it is. Kind of off center since the light is there and looks weird because the light is shining on it. I will just go ahead and leave it for now. If I do change it, I'll just put it over maybe just on my side, like above the C. But will do for now. Okay, I decided I should just fix it right now while I'm at it. And it looks so much better over there. Like a party on my side of the closet. I've got disco ball, vision board, C. Super cute. Totally blends in. This is like my place for everything I don't have a place for. Even decor. Okay, so I actually hung it up in the bedroom just to see what it would look like. And there it is. I don't know how I feel about it. It is a little small, but it is so cute. <sighs> Maybe if it was bigger. Might just have to go in my closet. Whoa. Okay. Garrett's naked and had to toss me his dirty clothes. Let me hang this up. This is clean. So we're going to do some minimizing or as everybody on YouTube likes to say, decluttering. I like the word minimize. I came across that word a few years ago when I was watching the minimalist documentary on Netflix, the old one and the new one. And I've read a couple of their books on being a minimalist and I'm definitely by no means any sort of minimalist, but I, I do like to use some of their um, kind of like ways of living. So I definitely want to donate or sell to like Plato's Closet, all the stuff that I just absolutely know I'm not going to wear. If I haven't worn it in the last year, if I'm not going to wear it in the next year, it has got to go. However, the tricky part of this is that I have been so many different sizes in the last few years of my life. I mean, I've been in my lightest, I've been in my heaviest, I've been in between, 
and I know that in life you can definitely fluctuate so I'm definitely gonna be keeping a little bit for every size but if I just absolutely know I'm not gonna wear it again I really just need to let it go because minimizing allows you to just feel better you know it's not taking up space in your mind it's not taking up space in your environment it's not distracting you or causing you any anxiety so minimizing has a, a lot of positive effects on you and that's why we are doing this today so let's get into it my closet is such a mess too so we have a cover-up we have ropes that I definitely wear all the time oof these pants that I bought at Costco they're like knock off linen pants but they're a bit scratchy I don't know I'm gonna have to think about them they're kind of uncomfortable definitely keeping all of my skims robes skims dress huh prom dress Wow, this is definitely something I will probably never need again. I probably should be selling it, but it is just so gorgeous. I just don't know. I'll think about that one later. Wow, I'm already off to an incredibly horrible start. Okay. Let's see here. Just looking through some dresses. Okay, not seeing anything I should get rid of yet. Ooh, I should get rid of this. Okay, so I got this shirt somewhere. Oh, it was like a used clothing exchange in a Midtown Arena last year. And I've never worn it because I don't like how loose these sleeves are at the bottom. And as much as I could pretend that I'm going to wear it, I should get rid of it. So I am going to set it over here in a pile. Super proud of myself. Off to an okay start after all. Okay. Oh, you know what? I actually literally just bought this. I thought it was a potential for my birthday party. Um, but I don't like it because the sleeves sit oddly right here. However, I couldn't return it to Fashion Nova because it was on sale for like $10. So I will try and sell that to like Plato's Closet as well. As much potential as it has, I just know that, that sl those sleeves are just going to bother me to no end forever. You know, I really wanted to like this. I got this last summer for my trip to Cabo. Um, but I just don't think I will because it kind of like crosses up here and that usually bothers me. Also, I don't really like bodysuits that much. So as cute as it actually is, I don't think I'm going to wear it. And that is a shame because I might have only worn it maybe once if not in no times. It's from Dillard. So... Sell that one too. Let's see. Okay, I wear these shirts. This is like my staple. I love this. I have it in black too. It's a guest shirt. Okay, let me get keep looking. I am going to get rid of this t-shirt. Now I actually happen to love this t-shirt. I love this t-shirt so much. But it has this sequin pocket and it scratches the fuck out of my arms. So I never wear it, and because I never wear it, I shall get rid of it. Okay. Oh, yes, this is another shirt I never wear. It's just kind of too cropped, and I used to, like, live in crop tops. I loved it, but now they just annoy me, like, to the point where these Lululemon shirts are kind of even annoying me because they're so short. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. Oh my god, I remember I got this shirt on Amazon, the Kahoochie Mama shirt. I don't think I'll ever wear it. I might actually need to try it on, but most likely won't. So I'm just going to hang that one up for now.
Ah, this Fashion Nova shirt. I have worn it multiple times, but it chokes me. And for that reason, I don't wear it anymore because I'm just so into comfort. So off it goes. Let's see here. This. This one I've been wanting to wear, but my boobs haven't fit into it yet. So maybe 20 pounds down the line. Oh, spare hanger. I have this like organizing drawer, which I clearly don't need. That's why it's sitting in here doing nothing. So I'm going to ask Garrett if he wants it. If he doesn't, I'm just going to throw it away. It was like a cheap part of a set from Ikea. Let's see here. I have some vitamins, which I need to keep all of those, of course. I have an old planner here, which I don't know why I'm holding on to this. I'm going to go ahead and throw it away now. It's completely full. Yeah, gotta go. Ah, OMG! These, these are colored markers and crayons and colored pencils. Bingo! I actually didn't know where these were until just now, but I got this like really cool like adult like Barbie history of Barbie coloring book that I wanted to do today for part of these self care. So I'm really glad I found these so I can use them for that. Okay, let's see here. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is Moose's baby album. It's actually meant to be like an album for all of his photos. I just haven't added anything to it, but I was literally putting together this photo album before we even know which one was Moose. And I added all his little baby photos. <laughs> I really need to update it. His photos from now. Because they are just the most precious photos ever. Okay, so obviously... Keeping that... Oh, Lucy's sitting on my clothes. I don't know if you guys can see. Oh, my gosh. So... I didn't get rid of as much as I was originally planning from my closet, but I'm pretty sure I did just clean it out a couple months ago. Also, like I said, I just end up being so many different sizes throughout the years. I don't want to get rid of things I absolutely love for smaller sizes. So I have some things I'm going to take to Plato's closet tomorrow and try and sell. And whatever I don't sell, I will just drop off at the donation center. And then I have like a couple bags I'm just going to put on like Poshmark to see if I can sell. And then if I don't sell them, I will eventually just sell them to like Plato's Closet or something. But the closet definitely looks a lot more organized. I definitely got rid of some things that were just sitting where they shouldn't be sitting. Honestly, some garbage I needed to just be getting rid of. Moose, hey. Um... So, it definitely looks a lot better. I think next, gosh, I don't even, I'm scared to <laughs> choose what I'm going to do next. Honestly, it might be my bedside table, which isn't even on my side. It's on Garrett's side, so I literally never use it, just like storage. But would probably be good to go through that. And then I don't know if I'm going to do any more for today. Just because for some reason it's so exhausting. Well, I do know it's decision fatigue and I'm definitely feeling fatigued by it already. So I don't know how good I would be if I just kept going the entire afternoon. So bedside table and then we might stop there and I might pick this up again like next week or something, but we shall see. Let me just finish folding these donations and to sell items. No moose. Moose. He loves strings. You know what I should go through is my shoes. Because I have so many freaking shoes that I could definitely sell to Plato's Closet that I absolutely never, ever, ever wear. The amount of, like, gorgeous high heels that I have for all of the non-existent events I go to is insane. So I should definitely look in my shoes. Maybe that should be... Moose, no. Maybe that should be 
my other goal for today instead of the table, the bedside table. I could do shoes mousse. That would be a good idea. Maybe that's what I'll do. It's just so hot outside. It's like 105 degrees. So I don't know. But I should. I'm going to Plato's closet. Huh, Moosey? Maybe I will. We'll see. Definitely so much better. Cleaned all of this up. Got it all organized over here. Looking a lot better for sure. Nothing on the ground anymore. Also, side note, Garrett and I just had a cookie that I made yesterday and they are 1000% better the next day. So, pretty good after all. Much better. So, I decided that I do not want to minimize anymore. Simply do not have the energy for it. However, I do think that a good solution for that would be to do like one little area of the home every week. That way you don't get too over it and you don't put your full efforts in. So I think next weekend I will hit another part of the house. But I am going to close out today's self-care decluttering vlog with a little bit of coloring. I have been in the mood to color for a while, but I didn't have any like adult coloring books that I wanted. Um, and I just have been so into like just little Barbie themed things since the movie was announced, which Barbies were my favorite growing up as well as Brad's dolls. But um, so I thought I would look up on Amazon like a Barbie adult coloring book. So I found this, it's pretty cute. They have like different Barbies from different like decades and stuff. So I'm going to color that with the pencils and markers or crayons or whatever that I just found in my closet. And then I guess that will be it for this vlog. And then actually I will read, but I won't take you guys along with me for that. I'm almost done with the Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. And it is so good. I think I'm about 60, 50 or 60 pages away from being done. So I think I'll finish that tonight because I am dying to know what happens. But overall, from the majority of the book, it was incredible. I would definitely read it again um, if I hadn't already <laughs> read it, I guess. But yeah, 10 out of 10 would recommend, so. just finished coloring definitely a relaxing thing to do how cute is she parched it is literally so hot but i am all done with that so i'm gonna go read um the seven husbands of evelyn hugo do some dishes and just chill out since it's Sunday evening. But thank you guys so much for joining me on this self-care vlog. I want a million percent appreciate you guys stopping by my channel and watching my video and watching till the end if you did. So I hope you have an amazing day and you take care. We'll see you in the next video.